Hey guys! Today in this video I'm going to show you how to make a body scrub and a hand scrub. I like to have a, like an extra fancy super special hand scrub because you know, your hands get used a lot more and they got, get a lot more sun damage because you know all year your hands are showing usually except for when you're wearing gloves. So I like to do an extra special hand scrub that I use. I'll keep by my sink, in my kitchen, or in my bathroom. And I'm also going to be making a body scrub. So if you like videos that are DIY beauty, or you like plant videos, or natural living videos, then please do subscribe. And let's get to it. First I'm going to show you the hand scrub. And I'm going to use some, maybe use some borage oil, I'm not sure, but I'm going to use some rosehip oil. And I'm going to be using some Moringa oil and I'm going to be using my favorite body oil it's by um, The Organic Way. This time of the year I tend, uh, working in the yard and stuff, my hands can have more scratches on them and the salt <laughs> can hurt. So I'm going to be using some sugar and I'm only going to make a couple of these. I'm just measuring it into my jar. Um, I'll make three. First, I'm going to use my rosehip oil. What I like about this is that it can color it pink. I'm going to use a few dropper full of my Moringa oil. Probably about four. And then I'm going to use about a tablespoon of this body oil. It has like tamanu and all sorts of different awesome stuff in it. Tamanu actually can help get rid of leprosy, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I just look to see how saturated this is going to be, and I'm going to need some more rosehip oil to make it a little pinker. Not turning quite as pink as it does when I use salt. The salt really picks up the pigment, but since I'm using an organic sugar that hasn't been refined, then it, it has a little bit of color to it. So now I'm going. I need to use up this V6 oil. It's just a carrier oil. You can use um, whatever kind of carrier oil you like, whether it's sunflower, safflower, um, like the refined coconut oil, or jojoba, or kakui, macadamia nut. There. I'm gonna see. It smells pretty good. But I want a little bit more of this because this has these herbs and oils in it that are from this farm in Italy and it has a very distinctive spa smell to it. So I'm also going to put some borage oil in it too because borage oil just smells like a spa to me. It's incredible. Okay, when you look at it, you want, the, you want it to be saturated. And sometimes people like it to be oversaturated to where the oil will come out of it, but I like it to be just saturated enough to where, you know, when you go like this, you can see the oil on the bowl and you can see it and you can feel it like you go like this and it has, you know, you, you can feel the, the oil going into your skin and it's just perfect. If you have really chapped hands, a good oil to add to this would be castor oil. It would also be really good for dry lips. You can use this on your lips too. But I don't always like castor oil. I do like how it is, but when I make things with it myself, I tend to overuse it and the smell of it, I just do not like. So I, if I do use it, I have to use it very sparingly. But it can be very helpful if you have really chopped hands. Also, you can add in uh, like unrefined cocoa butter and or unrefined coconut oil and both of those will help a lot and but that those you'd have to whip into this with some beaters. So I'm going to be using regular plain old salt instead of like super nice salt. This is, I just get the real brand salt in bulk usually for when I'm going to be making smaller amounts and I just use what I have on hand but if I'm going to make, be making a huge amount then I go and buy super cheap salt because it really does not matter 
with this because it's just going to be um, scrubbing dead skin off and going down the drain. What's going to be important in this is nurturing oils. I only use things for aromatherapy, for scrubbing, and for moisturizing. And I really like to make whipped scrubs, so I like to use cocoa butter or coconut oil. I usually just use coconut oil. I really like to use those for body scrubs a lot because the texture is all whipped and it's just, it's really smooth and really moisturizing for your skin. And I'm going to, I'm gonna add in some vanilla powder. So this is kind of going to look like with, like, just a little bit. I like to add in vanilla olorestrin and stuff to this too. I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to do vanilla and I think lime. That's about like 10 to 20 drops of lime oil. I like to do that combination with coconut oil a lot because it's tropical and awesome. Okay, when you get enough oil saturated in this, it's going to become heavier and harder to stir. And you'll be able to see that it's all saturated with oil. Another thing that you can add to this is ground up flowers. They're going to be hydrating as well, but when you add in things like that, then you have to be a little bit more aware of uh, like water getting into this because those can mold sometimes. I've never had that problem, but I've heard that it can. So when I touch this, like you can see, it's like totally saturated with oil. So I'm going to finish filling up my other ones and then I'll be all done. Today I made one big body scrub and three hand scrubs. You can tell, see, the texture in this is different. This is all really, that looks watery almost. This one has a lot more oil. See how the oil is pooling to the top? It's because it's oversaturated. And I just did that because I put in more oil than necessary. But I was using oils like these ones have oils in them that are super hydrating. Um, this one has oils that are really hydrating, but it's not like intense like these are, which I made these purposely for your hands to be super intense. And so that's why these have um, inchi oil, tamanu, jojoba, moringa, borage, and rosehip oil. So these got you covered. <laughs> and this one is just really easy and basic all purpose. And you can use any oil and sugar or, um, or sugar or salt for this. And I did put some Epsom salts in it just because I like the two different textures. And I would stay away from coarse salts just because that can be too coarse. Whereas I like the refining of the, the finer salt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun for me to make scrubs, and so I do it just for pure enjoyment. I mean, it's not necessarily cheaper to make your own scrubs if you're looking for, you know, really good, expensive ingredients, but it can be. <laughs> the initial investment is a lot more than just buying a scrub that's going to last you a few months, you know? But if you're going to be doing something, if you want to just do something really super cheap with just salt that you have already and some sort of cooking oil that you have, whether it's coconut, olive, or sunflower oil, you can use those. Just those two ingredients and you are golden. You can make an amazing scrub that will work really well. Now there's a couple of different other scrub bases you can use, like you could use oat flour or you can use some sort of almond meal or coconut flour. Those I don't recommend 
keeping for a long period of time. I like these scrubs because they, they last. You can just keep them in your shower and they'll be fine. But if you're going to be using like oat flour or coconut meal or almond meal or coconut flour, those you need to mix up and use them within like that day or the next day. So they're kind of a one and done sort of thing. Whereas these, you can make them last longer. But anyways, it, if you want to try it out, it's really, really fun. And I mean, there's tons of tutorials on these. I have tons of tutorials on these on my blog and on YouTube. So these are just, this is just my basic method. And there, you saw that there's really no um, exact measurements. I just measure in the jar and then I fill up the oil to saturate it and I'm, I'm done. You can add in things like essential oils or different kinds of richer oils like the Moringa or the Borage oil or Rosehip oil or Sea Buckthorn oil. I mean, there's so many different things that you can use. But these are just my basic things. If you want to see how I make whipped body scrub, then please do like this video and I will end up making more videos like this and I'll make a whipped body scrub video for you. So if you have any comments or any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the, just in the comment section below and I will answer them. So have a really great day you guys. Bye.